G'day guys, you're back with Miracle Max. Today I'd like to share with you a service item that you may not be aware of. It's a small injection quantity relearn on a Mitsubishi Triton 4D56 as well as the 4M41 diesel engines. Let me show you what it's all about. So I've just completed valve clearances on this 2013 4D56 Mitsubishi Triton. As well as that, I've ultrasonically cleaned the entire intake system, including EGR rocker cover. Believe it or not, that's part of the intake system. What were they thinking? So rocker cover was ultrasonically cleaned, intake manifold, EGR valve, and the ports of the head cleaned up as best as possible. Now that I've done all those major service items, it's time to do this injector small quantity relearn. The injectors have four different values that are taken at different intervals. And the ECU will do that while you're driving the vehicle. But you can actually force this injection quantity relearn to take place to help the vehicle to run better. And that should be done regularly as a service item. In actual fact, it's written in the manufacturer's service manual. So it should be part of your service, guys. Let me show you how it's done. At the moment, after all that horrible carbon being cleaned out of the intake system, believe it or not, this is actually a little harder to start than it was before, and it's idling a little rougher too. Check it out. Glow plug on. So it does take a little longer than it did before. Let's have a look at live data on the scan tool. So in live data, you can see small quantity pressure number one or the first time that it assesses it cylinder number one number two etc we'll scroll over and you can see there's a whole range listed here and it goes on and on in actual fact i was wrong it assesses it five times for each cylinder not just four as i thought but have a look at them they get less and less the changes are less and less each time we have some negative values here, we have some positive values here, and as you go back to the first adjustment or the first inspection or the first interval that it does its check, they are quite large in comparison. So let's take it for a road test and I'll show you how we do this quantity relearn. I'm still out my road test. I've taken it for about yeah, 10 Ks, I suppose, to get it up to temperature and to make sure everything's running okay after all the work that I've done. I'll show you now what we need to do for our relearn. So we need to go into special functions here. We need to go into learning. And as you can see over the side here, F1 is small injection quantity relearn. That's the fellow that we're after. So we press F1 down the bottom here, or we can just hit that button there. There are quite a few conditions to carry out this injection relearn. So we need to make sure that we've done them all properly. Okay, so what we've got here is the items and the current value that they are doing. Now, I'll be honest with you, quite often these won't carry out a relearn during the road test, but as soon as I get back to the workshop, for some reason, they carry it out. We'll see how we go now. We'll go to OK, and as you can see, all the conditions here. Now, I know that I have my coolant up to temperature, fuel temperature, barrow, uh, auto trans fluid, uh, air conditioning, and lights are turned off. The transmission is in park and the steering is in the straight ahead position. Let's see if it's going to do it for us or if we have to wait till we get back to the workshop. Let's hit OK. And typically it says error, execution condition is not corrected. So we'll give it another couple of shots, but generally speaking, it won't do it. The conditions must be spot on to what they've requested before this actuation will take place. Let's head back to the workshop and hopefully we can do it there. We're back in the workshop now and let's give it another try, okay? It's come up with error. Let's go for okay again. I've carried out all the same conditions. No air conditioner, steering wheel straight ahead, no lights, in park, etc, etc. So let's try again our relearn feature and fingers crossed we can do it this time. F1, small quantity, OK, conditions to set. I think I've got them all right, and here we go. And it won't do it. Coolant temperature, yes. What was the coolant temperature? 92. 90. Oh, I wonder if we're just a little too hot. Let's let it cool down for a bit, hey? 
the criteria can be really fussy on it so we'll let it cool down a little bit and once it's done that we'll have another shot. I've just let it sit for a few minutes and you can see our coolant temperature is now within range. It's 87, the range was 80 to 90 if I remember correctly so let's see if we can have another shot. Special functions, learning, fingers crossed this time. Executing. Brilliant. Okay, let's see what it does. And if you listen carefully, you'll be able to hear the revs go up and down as the learning process takes place. It's now in progress, as you can see. And let's have a look down the bottom here. We're looking at number two at the moment. That's what's being done. And just give it a minute and you'll hear it raise the RPM. Can you hear the sound is a little bit different? Hear that? We're now doing number three, cylinder number two, so the third step, and we're changing the fuel pressure uh, as well. You can see it's creeping up there and it's adjusting the injector timing when they're fired accordingly. When you first hear this, it sounds kind of weird and you think something's wrong, but it's all part of the process, all part of the learning process. Notice we've dropped right back with our fuel pressure, only down to 6 megapascals at the moment, up to 80, or 60, sorry. Now we're up to 82, to 90, and we're seeing how the injectors respond and they're adjusting when they fire the injectors accordingly. Now keep in mind this isn't me doing anything up to 1200 RPM at the moment. It's gone back to number one to examine it. And as you can see, it raises the idle to compensate for the extra pressure coming through. And there we have, completed. So I can confidently give the vehicle back to the customer, knowing that I've done everything according to the manufacturer's requirements. And I've even noticed that it starts a lot quicker. Check it out. It was a lot quicker than it was before. Although it took a little while to get the criteria just right, we finally got that small injection quantity relearn done. This is a crucial part of servicing the Mitsubishi Triton with the 4D56 as well as the 4M14 in it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Gave you a little bit of insight into the Mitsubishi Triton relearn process on the injectors. If you did enjoy this video and you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, give it a like and feel free to comment down below. Don't forget about that notification bell. You don't want to miss any future videos, do you? So guys, this is Miracle Max signing off. I will catch you later.